the first data we get about combining two checkpoint inhibitors. So we could learn a little bit before about combining nivolumab and ipilimumab, but yesterday Naya Rizvi from New York presented the combination of the durvalumab and tremelimumab, so an anti-PD-L1 and an anti-CTLA4. Very interestingly, what he could demonstrate is a dose finding was resulting in an acceptable toxicity profile with a delivery or treatment every four weeks and kind of a low level of CTLA4, anti-CTLA4 drug, but with very promising activity. And what I like in this data set is that it proves a concept that even in PDL1 negative patients, for the ones who do not respond very well to monotherapy of durvalumab, nivolumab, and so on, they do, they are rescued. So they do present with a very interesting response rate, even if there's no PDL1 at all, with the combination. So it gives a rationale for dual inhibition, at least dual, maybe triple in the future of checkpoints in non small cell lung cancer.